From fatherless to fatherhood, take one. I'm Pat Wansell. I've worked with Usher, Alicia Keys, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Big Sean, Kanye West, Elvana, so many amazing, talented people. My father is Dexter Wansell of the... Um, Philly Sound, Gamblin' Huff, Bell. He's worked with Patti LaBelle, the Stylistics, the Jacksons, um, Grover Washington, Lou Ross, Teddy Pendergrass. He's an uh, amazing man. I love music from uh, as far back as I can remember. Um, I used to imitate um, music that I heard on the radio. I would go around singing it and imitating it. At the age of 10 years old, I started becoming a gopher at the Uptown Theater here in Philadelphia, which was one of the theaters uh, in the Chitlin Circuit, like the Apollo in New York, the Regal in Chicago, and the Howard in Washington, you know what I'm saying? And I worked for the artists that used to come through the Uptown Theater, going to get their cigarettes and uh, coffees and uh, sandwiches. And I used to hold towels backstage for James Brown. You know, he would dance off the stage, grab a towel, wipe his face, and throw it back in mine. <laughs> but, uh, you know, working at the Uptown from the age of 10 to 14. My father taught me to, to be a producer and to not make beats. I was in my basement making beats. And my father would say, when you gonna stop producing? I didn't know what that meant. Um, but now I know what being a producer means. I know what it means to control the room. I know what it means to start a song and finish a song, to have a vision and make that vision come to life and see it through. I had actually signed up with Slippery, Slippery Rock College's Archaeological Society to go to uh, Giza in, in Cairo, in Egypt, and also to Machu Picchu in Peru. And like two weeks before we were all supposed to, you know, get our credentials together and show it, the, the, the State Department red flagged it. And it was right around when Anwar Sadat got killed. And if we did go, then we, if something happened to us, we could not interact with the State Department or, or the embassy in Egypt at that time. So um, I wrote two songs and only uh, uh, one is called Nights Over Egypt and the other one was called Machu Picchu and I never did Machu Picchu. I did do Nights Over Egypt. For me, I haven't heard it since in 30 some years. Mm -hmm. In regard to fatherhood, um, my father taught me patience. I'm very patient with my little boy because of my father. Um, my father was so patient with me I feel like him having that amount of patience with me really um, allowed me to mold into a better person. I learned more on my own. Um, I was able to make a, a, a lot more of my own mistakes and learn from them. Um, patience, patience, because kids are gonna be kids. Kids are gonna kick, they're gonna scream, they're gonna want their way, they're gonna cry, they're gonna rebel. They're gonna be disobedient. I see so many parents, young parents like myself today, who don't have the patience. Um, but if, if it's if it's if, well, anything that sticks out, it's um it's patience and it's being genuine and it's, it's to love your child with all of your heart unconditionally.